sorry. Continuing section 11.2 with arithmetic sequences, now we need to write using the explicit formula. And the explicit formula is right here, and you're going to write your explicit formula when you're given a sequence. Explicit formula, a sub ed equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. When you're writing a formula, you're not going to have a final answer. You will still have variables in the end. A sub n, we aren't going to know. We know a1, because a1 is the first term. The first term is 3. Plus, in parentheses, we have n minus 1. n stands for the number of terms, but we don't know how many terms, because they didn't ask for any. So again, that stays as a variable. The last part, d, is the common difference. We know how to find the common difference because our formula from yesterday said take the second number and subtract the term before it. So take the second number 8, subtract the term before it, and you get 5. You can double check to make sure that you have an arithmetic sequence by doing it to the next number. So for D, we put 5. You now have an explicit formula that is specific to this set of numbers.